working DC uh, can be, I think, overwhelming. I moved across the country and had not experienced the DC network life until I, I started at AU. I think that the biggest piece of advice I got and something that really helped me um, is to not be worried about it and to understand that everyone else is doing it as well. And that it's not just about gaining something or getting something out of someone. It's really about building meaningful relationships, both in your personal and professional life. I think the best first step for networking is actually getting to know your peers. Um, your peers come from various um, fields. They come from different parts for, for those who have like work professional experience or for anyone who has like different experiences straight from undergrad or they have may had you know, changes in careers. Um, so that's definitely the first step is getting to know your peers because they really will help you and they are your support system. A good first step is getting on the newsletters or distribution list of every single think tank you think is applicable to your interests. Um, therefore, you're aware of the think tank events that are going on. And I'm tailoring this towards think tanks because I tend to be more of a research oriented scholar. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be think tanks. It could be NGOs or other organizations that types of organizations that interest you. Make sure I would advise to, make, to, to attend as much uh, conferences and, and workshops uh, out there in their respective fields of study. I think that's a, a very good way to start. Knowing that you yourself as a student are in a very special position um, to help, to help these leaders in DC achieve their dreams, knowing, knowing your value as a student is, is very important in even beginning to say hello. If you can kind of keep up with the probably like academic trend um, that you can get from the classes and everything, and if you can provide those kind of information, hey, oh, I read this paper and this is very popular in academic field, probably like professional world people would appreciate that opinion. Um, hey, my professor said this, um, or hey, I have this professor who worked on this and probably you might want to see him or something. Um, so try to come up with that you can provide something as well. Uh, not only that you're providing resume and try to look for a job. Part of it is just getting out of your head and just going to network as is, or even let's say you don't have a particular goal in mind when you're going to network making those connections, just making the step forward just to go attend the event, maybe get to know one person or two people at max can definitely help.